What's up, my family? My future? My everything? I love you guys. All right, so I figured you probably want some real content by now instead of my uh, jimmer jammerin' or anything like that. I, I don't know, some people might not call this real content. They call it me ranting about my life and shit, so if that doesn't count as content, you can suck it. Uh, so I guess I just want to show you guys what my life is like right now. Yeah, maybe you get the picture why I haven't been doing shit. But I have been doing stuff, all right? I'm not saying I'm lazy. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, this is my current residence. The great outdoors. Ain't she pretty? Uh, also, I have no choice but to use my front camera because my back camera's all busted up. So I just want to show you guys my house right now. I'm just show you some of the basics of my life and... Uh, Man, there's a, there's a lot I can talk about here, so I'll just get going. First, I just wanted to say uh, what it is exactly that I'm doing here. So, my parents moved out of the crib that I lived at my entire life, where you've seen countless Sam the Dingus videos. Uh, and instead of going with my parents to Tennessee, I decided, my brother and I, uh, that we wanted to just work on surviving raw dogged for real out here. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. So our OG plan is to find an apartment, but... It's kind of hard given the times, and also neither of us have any credit. <laughs> the future and adulthood, I love it. Uh, you're right. So because of that, we were going to stay at a campsite. Because we got like tents and supplies and shit like that. But uh, then my homie was nice enough to come along and say, Hey, save you some money. Instead of camping at a campsite, come to camp in my yard. So that's what we did. Now real quick, I just want to say, out here, this is like the best backyard I've ever had. There's like... Train tracks, power lines, rivers, caves, tunnels, forts. I used to play airsoft out here. There's just acres and acres of stuff that I know, like, as if it was my own yard. So it's really nice to be somewhere familiar and, and also have, have so much opening, so much free space. It's more than I've ever had. Now for camp life. Let me show you what's good here. Well, here's the outside. And I'll take you on a little digital tour of my house and such. Here we got the essentials. 40 pound dumbbells. I haven't really used those yet, but I got them. My, uh, one of my favorite punching bags. I don't punch it at all. I do some ground and pound on it, but mostly I just practice throwing it. Try to get my strength up. This is the Zen bag. I don't have any place to stand it up here, so I had to tie it to a rope that was already here using this, uh, very efficient knot. As you can see, it's not an efficient knot, but it does hold. So hey, can't complain. I've spent many good hours zenning out to it. I'm a big fan of the living in boxes idea. I'll tell you how I came to that conclusion as I go along, but this right here is my closet. All my clean clothes go in there. I guess I'll have to show you my car after this, huh? All right, well, this is where my brother started. I will say my brother used to be living in camp with me, but he didn't fancy the outdoor life as much. So, I'll just take you inside real quick. This one's my bedroom. It's pretty nice. Pretty chillin'. Got some things. My apocalypse weapons, in case it all comes to shit while I'm out here. Guitar, chair, some useless things, paraphernalia. Basically everything a man could really need. This is my bed, which is just a sleeping bag and a blanket on the floor. Plus one blanket uh, for my body. And then we got a pillow. And uh, that's, that's it. This is where I spend, uh, I guess, most of my time when I'm here. Uh, this is inside of this tent here. My new room. I am looking forward to an apartment, but shit, this life is actually great. And I, I love doing it like this. As you can see, where I've walked has created a path. So I don't even need to think as I come through here anymore. Ain't that good? After a long, long, long time, I finally copped a mirror. Oh, looking cheddar. Can't complain about the gains. They're coming in. <laughs> Here's my uh, water fort slash dirty dishes area. Well, this stuff I never use, but water for safety. Empty ass cooler, never touched it. Fire pit and firewood, all of which still unused. Now here's the important stuff. This here is the biggest of all the tents. This is or was my storage tent. It's where we just put a bunch of stuff that we weren't using. Uh, but then the zipper started being gay as fuck in an annoying way. Uh, and basically it would take like mm, two to ten minutes to get this tent closed. 
and it is no longer fully closed. So this is the tent that gave birth to the life in boxes idea because I was like, fuck it, I'm so tired of going in and out of this tent. So I gathered all the stuff that's worth really keeping and brought it out here. And uh, there's still stuff in there, but stuff that I don't really plan on touching. This is basically a nil tent. I can do whatever I, I want with it. Not sure what I'll do with it. But I've also got my apocalypse stash coming on. Things here and here. That's just food I save up and never spend. Like I like to do everything like a savings and checkings account. Every time I get a big check, I break off some of it. You know, so then if I'm screwed later, I still have some. If, the, if all supply chains die out, I still got enough food for at least mm, one to four weeks. All those things and some supplies. Very good. Self-explanatory trash. Oh, and uh, next door is a, a dog training academy. So, man, these puppies get loud all the time when they hear me and also just generally at night. I'm surprised they aren't uh, agitated yet. But they have telepathy, so maybe they figure I'm doing a good thing for once. <laughs> Enough uh, psychic jokes. Oh, oh, see that? See that? There they go. Roughing it up. Anyway, here's my clean dishes spot. Sauce location. Table for holding things. I don't really eat uh, here. I eat mostly standing up or sitting down on, on the kitchen counter there. But I also got this chair. Word. Now this here is the OG bed tent. When I first started, this is where I was in. Not, uh, this is the least waterproof of all the tents. Sometimes I get little puddles in there, so it's actually been a long time since I've been in there, but it's where I started off. Nowadays, I sleep in that tent because my brother abandoned it. But there's still some uh, clothes that I don't really use as much in here. <laughs> also, uh, the bug tent. I was a fan of the bug tent for a while because mosquitoes are a bitch, if you didn't know. But then uh, bugs started crawling up underneath the tent and getting stuck. So now I've, I had to deal with like eight different uh, bees being in there at a time. And they would be on the wall. So if I was ever leaning against the wall, I'd get stung. It fucking sucked. So I just took it down. After all the hard work it took to get it up. Still took it down. This is my uh, first attempt at agriculture. Didn't go so well. Because uh, I didn't do any prep. I just dug up the floor and put stuff down. I was trying to grow potatoes because I heard you just cut them in half and put them in the floor and they shoot out the eyes and all that good stuff. So I'm definitely going to be getting into farming and such and I'll talk more about all that when I'm done here. I am almost done so I guess the uh, last one is a virtual tour of one of the coolest aspects of it. Something most people have not had fun with. The rope swing. I'll take y'all with. Just for one ride. Uh, I suppose I'll just start talking now, since I've showed you most of my stuff. My car is my secondary headquarters. Surviving out here has taught me a lot, and uh, I'm so glad that I went to Virginia last winter. Stayed in the Street Beefs area. It gave me a lot of preparation, uh, mentally, physically, financially, for this kind of thing. I basically say I pretty much got the hang of survival in this world. Now I'm working on thriving. Having nice... Oh, shit. Wait, where is it? Uh, now I'm working on thriving and having nice things and shit, because base layer survival, I got. Alright, I'm going to take y'all down here for a quick ride. Woo! Ain't it pretty? Alright, let's keep talking until this thing wears down. Yeah, so... Now I'm in real life, so even more so than in Virginia, even though that was a good taste of things. So.